rotational throwing for numbies is probably the best known of all the set pro ebooks. Uh, it's because the one that had uh, at the time I think was most uh, pertinent or touched a nerve as to what was going on in the pitching world of the, what we call the pitching internet pitching wars uh, of the early 2000s. Um, it is also what I consider probably the most comprehensive uh, it, it, of the ebooks I've done uh, because it touches on pretty much all of the key issues that were in play back in the 2000s, early 2000s regarding uh, how the body throws a baseball. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through a couple pages. Now the first part of this is a lot, the way the book works is that you click a page and there may be audio on the page and you'll get the audio. And so for the next several pages, uh, I'm not going to try and talk over the audio. Uh, it's, I'm not really set up to do that. So I'm going to click through the pages. The very first page you're going to come that I'm going to click to is the how to use the this ebook. Uh, and and all of the ebooks have this type of setup where the first thing I do is explain how to use the ebook and what you're going to see in the ebook in terms of audio visuals and and how to use them. Uh, and then there's introductions and some other stuff. So I'm going to keep I'm going to click pages and there's going to be audio on these pages that's going to keep coming up. I'm going to go through them fairly quickly just to give you an idea of what the first part of the ebook looks like and then I'll jump around to different sections to give you a better feel for the ebook. So here we go. Finding your way around or through rotational throwing for a number of is very straightforward. On the right hand side of each page you'll find navigation buttons. Those navigation buttons are named previous page, TOC1, TOC2, and next page. Previous page brings you to the previous page of the... Hello, my name is Paul Nyman. I'm the founder of Sports Engineering and Training Products, more commonly known as SEPRO, and I'd like to welcome you to Rotational Throwing for Numbies. Rotational Throwing for Numbies is the culmination of my 10 years of efforts and activities to better understand one of the biggest barriers preventing players from developing their maximum throwing capabilities is the lack of information, or maybe it should be termed misinformation that exists regarding the throwing process. This presentation is limited primarily to the mechanical aspects of throwing as I believe that the greatest opportunity for young players is is developing proper mechanics. These are clips of outfielders making throws and I believe all of these throws resulted in throwing runners out at the plate. I'd like you to study these clips for a minute or two and refer to them often because they are important with respect to illustrating that whether you're a pitcher or an infielder or an outfielder, throwing principles are all the same. These are also throwing clips, as, one, as you probably can tell, and these are infield positions as well. What I'm showing here are the, is a comparison of a high-level outfield throw to a portion of Nolan Ryan's throwing mechanics. Nolan, in the previous section, I tried to break the throwing process down into its most fundamental components arm action, rotation, segmentation, and intent. While I believe these four components do a good job of explaining what it takes to th develop maximal throwing capabilities, it does not really tell us how to do it. And this is a fundamental problem that I see repeated over and over, that many people consider themselves good at analyzing or identifying what constitutes good mechanics, but very few can then translate that analysis into an effective instructional or teaching program. All right, so after going through uh, some fair amount of verbiage, uh, we come to table of contents. And all, all of the uh, SEPRO ebooks have a table of contents. Um, and this table of contents is, we, it's a, there's actually two of them in this uh, ebook. And you can see that they're listed on below table of contents one, which is this one, and then table of contents two, which is this one. And the reason they're broken up is the first part of this is all about. Uh, Everything, as I said, the kitchen sink of throwing a baseball. Uh, it's uh, shoulder movement, uh, what is good mechanics, uh, balance, dynamic control, counter rotation, uh, throwing physics. Uh, let's look at the throwing physics, for example. Uh, some of the wise, what fours of scapula loading, next page, throwing physics. The clip on this page is from a presentation that I did back in 2002 for Ron Wolforth at what? Go back to the table of contents. Uh, arm action fundamentals. With respect to throwing a ball, one of the greatest fallacies, misrepresentation, fiction, or whatever else you might want to call it or term it, is that arm action is genetic. Nothing could be further from the truth. Um, so 
a lot of arm action stuff. Arm action fundamentals, Bob Feller, Bartol. Again, we show one of the key things about Two more the arm action examples. Is showing uh, the player the on the left do. is name is Tom Gordon. I, I remember when Gordon came up, I believe he came up with Kansas City, uh, was touted to have a very good curveball. But what's interesting about and and the reason I have Gordon here is because he has a very uh, high elbow slot. Um, come, you know, again, I haven't talked very much or, or really at all about the elbow slot. Give you a sample there. Uh, let's go to posture. One of the great problems that exists in instruction and pitching instruction, hitting instruction, swinging instruction, throwing instruction are no different, is that of communication. Uh, and by communication, I mean how words are put together and how they're interpreted. And what I found to be extremely important uh, and critical, for that matter, is establishing a common language, a common uh, way of communicating. A, a so, and then we go on. There's you know different sections, and uh, we talk about connection. Connection is the term that I use to describe what needs to happen as the kinetic chain progresses. Now. Uh, rotation. You are probably at a point now where you are either sick of hearing about <laughs> rotation or totally intrigued and involved or committed to understanding what rotation is about. And we go on and on and in fact I even have a section on catchers. It's just one section but I'll go to it. And Catchers should have, my opinion, the most efficient and effective throwing motion of all. Reason being is they are required, uh, they have the most demands with respect to the combination of quickness and power. Uh, they have to be quick in order to throw the runner out and they have to have the power to get the ball down there. In the that uh, brings us to a end of section one uh, or table contents one. When I say sections, again, it's important to understand that I've tried to break this up into uh, a sequence and I try to bring you through the entire sequence starting with the foundation of uh, what what is the body, how does it work, how it is, uh, what's important about the body and the biomechanics, the physiology of throwing the baseball and then go into specific uh, specifics. Arm act, starting with arm action and then posture, uh, connection, rotation, uh, rhythm and tempo uh, and then the second part of it is where I discuss, introduce the concept of backward shaping. And this is what section two looks like. Uh, and I'll play the introduction. Again, this is a typical class, uh, set, set pro setup where we have written material that supports the topic at hand. In this section, we're going to develop the concept of backward chaining as applied to the throwing of a ball. Backward chaining is a process that I've used for almost 10 years working uh, with players to develop their throwing capabilities. I first learned about backward chaining um, by reading texts on motor learning and doing research on articles online about how to develop abilities or capabil or skills I should say. And the, the there's also interestingly there's a video out, a pitching video out um, produced by Jeff Zahn, who was a professional player and uh, coached at the college level, and I think he still is coaching, um, on backwards chaining. But my take on backwards chaining is a little bit different than Jeff's, Jeff's uh, take on backward chaining. And so, again, it's the entire sequence where I go start with arm action, scapula loading, shoulder rotation, connection, rota hip rotation, uh, addition, adding posture. In a build, basically it's a building block approach and uh, back as you uh, read, get into understanding uh, the backward chaining process, backward sequencing process, you'll understand how important it is in terms of making any kind of changes to two areas, making changes to uh, a, an existing pitcher's mechanics, motion, throwing the baseball, or number two, teaching a young player the best optimal way to use his body to throw baseball. Um, that that's pretty much it from a temp point standpoint of an overview of uh, rotational throwing for numbers. Hopefully, this will help you make a decision uh, if you're interested, and also to differentiate the different set pro products. Thank you.